There's no way you could, you could possibly make up the things that we see with telescopes. They're, they're, they're incredible. It's, it's better than any kind of fiction. Our sun is sort of unusual in that it's all by itself. Most stars, if you go out at night, clear night, you look at the sky, you see all those little points of light. About half of those points you see are actually systems of more than one star. Two, three, four, five stars, all gravitationally bound. My name is Lisa Prado. I'm an astronomer at Lowell Observatory and I work on uh, very young binary stars and planet formation in very young stellar systems. Dr. Lisa Prato's research is aimed at solving a big question. How do planets form? The answer lies somewhere inside a star system. Dr. Prato doesn't look for any old stars, she looks for only the youngest ones. These are things that are, compared to a human, would be minutes old. And, and for stars, they're a million years old or two million years old. So they're, they're these newborn stars. These young, wild, misbehaving stars are very unstable, very variable. So it's excruciatingly difficult to look for planets in these systems. But very young stars are the only chance for Dr. Prato to catch a glimpse of this. A disk of dust and gas that's left over from the star's birth. Inside this disk is where planets form. The search for young stars with planets becomes especially interesting with binaries. You have two stars and both of them are they are born together, they're exposed to the same conditions, the same environment. And the two stars have the same temperature and the same mass. Why, in some cases, does only one star still have a disk and the other star doesn't? Does that mean the other star has already formed planets? Or does that mean the other star didn't form with a disk? Or there's these great questions. And when you have two or more stars together, you actually have a sort of a built-in control. Who knows what answers Dr. Prato might find now that IGRINS, the most powerful infrared spectrograph in the world, has come to DCT through collaboration with the University of Texas and CASI in Korea. Dr. Prato realizes that all future breakthroughs rely on collaboration. Most importantly, by passing the scientific method on to the next generation of astronomers. I think the most important thing that I do is actually mentoring um, students and interns and postdocs. That's really key to uh, passing along knowledge and ideas, not just the science itself, but also how to do the science, it's the, the, the ethics and the things that should drive the work in astronomy, which are curiosity and determination and, and dedication and honesty. And that I determined are these for. Axial tilt has actually changed over the course of its cooling period. Compare it afterward, it looks like the same star and it's perfectly fine.